All right, hey, what's up, everybody? This is your man, Jumpin' Rope, Levi James, working with my friend, The Healthy Transformation, bringing you awesome fitness videos to enhance your fitness experience. And today, we're working with our good friend, Yana Hempler, very professional runner who I'm very excited to work with. Yana, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. All right, okay, good. Feeling warmed up. You feel and warmed up? Ready to, ready to jump rope. Fantastic, this is the attitude that we need to have. So we've done a little bit of warming up already just to make sure that we're fresh and ready for the videos for sh to shoot for you here today. And what we're focusing on here is any of you out there that are avid runners, long distance runners, sprinters, maybe just casual runners, maybe you just go on the treadmill and you're just getting into it, but you want to avoid injury, we've got the circuits for you. We're gonna incorporate four of the basic jump rope techniques that we have in our basic jump rope training program coming out January 1st, 2020. Shameless self-promotion. Uh, we're gonna be incorporating these uh, workouts to help Yana and her client get the most out of the jump rope training to again enhance their, their running experience and also most importantly, avoid injuries. So if you already got a jump rope, grab it, jump along with us. Yana, you ready? I am. Fantastic. Woo! There, that's enthusiasm right there. Okay. So, yeah, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on four basic techniques. We're gonna go over them one at a time. For those of you that are jumping with us and you've already started the program, you're interested in starting the program, this is gonna be in video number one. Okay, so the basic bounce step, we're gonna start with the rope behind the knees. Make sure we keep a nice tall posture, straight up and down like six o'clock, shoulders back, elbows to the side and relax. We start with the hands out in front so that the first swing just goes right into the whip. And it's just gonna be a nice, simple bounce, just like so. Okay. All right. All right. Your turn. Show us how it's done. Okay. So we're gonna go one. Whoops. <laughs> that happens. Don't that be worried happens. about that. That definitely happens. Two, three. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Relax the shoulders a bit. There you go. Excellent. Oh, this is now you see. Now. Yeah. See. There you go. So you got good technique. So what we're looking for here is we only want to jump about an inch, maybe an inch, not even an inch and a half off the floor, just enough to clear the rope so that we're not wasting any energy. All right, Yana, we're gonna do three more. Two, three. Oh, no, you stopped. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, good, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, so the next one is gonna be the high knee step. So we're gonna bring the knees up a little bit closer to the waist. So for this one to start, we're gonna start with the left knee up. Okay, and then when we spin, again, nice and easy, shoulders relaxed, pulling those knees up. Okay? All right. Show us how it's done. Good. Excellent. Are well, my you knees notice. Too high? No, that's, that's a good, this is a good height. We can definitely go higher, but for right now, this is going to do the job. And so what we're also taking note here is that the knees are coming up in front of the body and we're not pulling the heels up, or she's not pulling the heels up behind her and wasting energy. So this is going to be the almost high knee step, or we call the alternating foot step. Excellent. Two, and break right there. Good stuff. Awesome. Okay, next one we're going to do is the side straddle. So this is where we're going to start moving side to side with the feet. We call our frontal plane. Okay, so again, we're gonna start right here. So one, two, one, two, one, two. Nice and easy. And again, you don't wanna jump any wider than your shoulders. It's gonna take you too long to get back and you're gonna to have to adjust the rhythm of the rope. But for right now, just keep your shoulder. Yep, yeah. whoops. All right, your turn. All Show right. us how it's done. Two, one, two, good. Excellent. And again, what we're looking for here is we wanna keep the speed of the rope consistent as you're moving the feet side to side. Stay nice and light again on the balls of your feet. Good. That one was close. It was very close, yeah. <laughs> but because she's using proper technique and practicing with a semi-professional, she avoided that trip up. Fantastic. All right, good. Excellent. How do you feel about that one? Pretty good. I sure actually like this because it'll stop. All right, so we take a break there. Good stuff. So the last one, we're gonna pull the heels up behind. For this one, we're actually trying to activate the hamstrings a little bit more. So if you actually just want to turn to the side so they can show them the way your feet, yeah, move this way just a little bit there. Fantastic, good stuff. Okay, so when you start jumping, same thing, rope behind the knees. We're gonna pull the heels right up to the butt. Right up to the butt. Right up to the butt, right up to those glutes, okay? Right so, up to the, yeah. Show the, people the, the uh, show the people of the internet how we do this. <laughs> okay, so remember, right. nice and tall, straight up and down like six o'clock. Good. Oops. That's okay. So we'll do a few bounces first because you want to get the rhythm going. That is there you go. Now we're going to pull the heels right up to the butt. There you go. Right up, right up, right up, right up. Right up to the butt. There you go. Good. When you pull the heels up with intention, you're going to fire the hamstrings and you're not just going to use the momentum of the toe push to get you up there. And this is going to warm up the back side of your legs. So again, for those of you that are looking for more high performance running, getting into sprinting, you're definitely going to want to start working on the posterior chain engagement with your jump rope training here. Good, how's that feeling? You feel it in the back of the legs? 
Oh yeah. Good, that's great. Feel it everywhere. Notice again, now that she's keeping her elbows and shoulders and hips all nice and lined, she's balancing over the balls of her feet. She's not wasting any energy by leaning forward or by crouching under the rope. This is great, good stuff. Okay, take a break then. Awesome. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put all of them together by counting them in fours. Okay, so this is where it's gonna get a little complicated. I'm gonna help you count, but if you do go more than four, that's fine. We're looking for smooth transitions between the skills, yeah? Right, Beauty. smooth. Very smooth. Okay, so we're gonna start with the bounce step. Okay, we're not gonna count these ones just yet. We're just gonna go through the transition. So we're gonna go from bounce step to knees up. Good, keep going knees up, very good. Okay, and then we're gonna transfer to the side strap. Nice and smooth. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna go heels up, heels up, heels up. Get those heels ready. Good. Okay, and then from here we're gonna go back to the basic bounce step, bounce. Good, one more time through. Let's go knees up. Yeah, knees up a little higher, a little higher. There you go. Yeah, so you get your hips involved there, perfect. Now go side straddle. Very nice. That's okay, you just get right back on the horse. Get back on the horse. Nay, nay, nay. All right, let's go heels up. Yeah, kick yourself right in that butt. Right up there, there you go. Right in the butt. All right, three, two, and we'll rest right there. And the cool way to hold your rope, swing it across, grab it, <laughs> and put it through. That's how the cool kids do it. <laughs> or you could do that. Okay, we're gonna set up our time, we're gonna do for 30 seconds. Now, we're gonna go in counts of four. So she's gonna do four bounce steps, Four knees up, four side straddle. What's the last one? Uh, butt kicks. You got it, butt kickers, right? So we go four by four by four. We wanna make sure that as we're getting into our jump rope training, we're not going too, too much too soon. Just like anything, we gotta moderate it to give yourself just enough rest to recover. And as you practice more often and more persistently, you're gonna get better at it and it's gonna be, you're gonna be able to go longer and longer as you work up your endurance. Okay, just exactly. like with running, correct? Yeah, just like with get... running. You, know, you don't run a marathon on your first time out running, Correct. you gotta start with you know 200 meters and 400 meters and slowly you just exactly. build it up over time. Exactly, and same thing with the jump rope. And that's why the jump rope is such a great transferable method of fitness to increase your physical performance and your athletic output. So let's get back into this drill here. All right. So for 30 seconds, we're gonna go four bounce step, four knees up, four side straddle, four heels up. I'll be guiding you through it. <laughs> bounce step, two, three, four, knees up. Two, three, four, side straddle. Two, three, four, heels up. Two, three, four, bounce. One, two, three, four, knees up. Four, side straddle. One, two, three, four, heels up. Two, three, four, bounce step. Excellent, knees up. Three, four, side straddle. Two, that's okay, <laughs> yep. That will happen, don't be discouraged by that. You'll definitely, and pause, break. Break. Okay, we're gonna take a 30 second break. We'll do that one more time. Okay, good. So again, I want you to speed up the rope just a little bit. Let's see if we can get the rope moving just a bit faster, okay? It's a bit of a challenge, right? Oh, yeah. That's how we increase and decrease the intensity in our jump rope. It's actually the speed of the rope, not necessarily always the movements that you're incorporating with the jump rope. Once you get better at it and you go without tripping up on the rope, it'll be easier to get up into higher rep ranges with the jump rope, okay? So you ready to go here again? All, All right. right, so again, starting with the bounce step. Go straight down the barrel there, straight up and down like six o'clock, and let's go. Bounce step for four. Three, four, side straddle. Oh. My bad, just kidding, I lied. Knees up, you got it, side straddle. See, she knows it better than I do. Told you I would leave oh. you straight. That's okay. We're back Too into fast. it. And now go heels up. Two, three, four, bounce step. Exactly. And that's what you find too, if you try and go too fast too soon, you're gonna definitely step up on the rope. But you gotta push yourself a little bit here and there. Side straddle, good, heels up. There you go, butt kicks. And then knees up. You got it. Side straddle next. Excellent, and we're gonna break right there because that's the end of our 30. Okay, yeah. so what we're gonna do now that we've done our 60 seconds of tra training there, just pause on the timer. Yeah, back over here, so we're about to hit that. My heart rate is up now. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna see what her heart rate's at. She's got a lovely heart rate monitor here. What do we got? A lot of options. 150. 150, well, there you go. So you're already getting into I the athletic training zone. You sweat it up. You because I sped it up a little bit. Because you, you sped it up. Yes, because you sped it up. Exactly. The second time. See, the first time I went, it was only like 130 because mm -hmm. I was going pretty slow. Exactly. It's like, as soon as you said, oh, pick up the pace of the row, now I'm not, and it's like, whew. Evidence. This is evidence right in front of you here how good jump rope training is for you. 
So one thing we talked about before when we were talking about doing this video is avoiding injuries. And now when we're, jog when we're jogging or running or sprinting, most of the injuries that seem to occur, and please correct me if I'm wrong, is when we deviate from our medial and sagittal plane. So basically moving forwards in this way, going forwards just like this. We don't do a lot of side to side or lateral motion in our frontal plane. And I think that's where we get actually most of the injuries. Rolling of the ankles, right. twisting of the hips, maybe going yeah. over an obstacle. And also like, you know, just when your knee goes too far inwards with every step that you take. Right. And then it's like, you're already having over twice your weight exactly. loaded on your uh, legs. So if you're adding that with a move that you're not used to doing, yes. where you're going side to side by accident, mm -hmm. Then, then you're it's going to end badly. Exactly. For the knees and ankles especially. Absolutely. And of course, if your knees and ankles get injured, running is really difficult. Yes. Absolutely. Good. So we're going to start moving in what we're, what we're used to in the frontal, uh, sorry, the medial and sagittal plane moving forwards and backwards. So we're going to actually start, yeah, right back here. And we're going to move forward with this drill, okay? Because this is what we're used to. And then we're going to turn it to the side afterwards. So facing the internet. All right. Now we're going to only move forwards on the knees up and the heels up. Okay, so right. we're going to stay stationary with the bounce step and the side straddle. All right, so I'm going to do the first one with you for practice just to show everybody how it's done, and then we'll put our timer back on. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take the drill that we just did. When being stationary, we're going to actually start moving forwards and backwards with this. And we're going to only move forwards with the knees up and the heels up. We're going to stay stationary with the bounce step and the side straddle. So, grab your rope. Ready? Right. Right. Okay, start with the bounce step. So nice and easy to bounce. Okay, you ready to move forwards? Let's yeah. go. Knees up. One, two, three, four. And stay there, side straddle. Okay, now we're gonna move forward with the heels up. Go heels up, bring your heels right up to your butt. All the way up, all the way up. And spit, stay still, bounce step. Very good. Okay, now we're gonna move backwards with the knees up. So go knees up. Ha, get tricky. And then stay stationary with the side straddle. Very good, nice and light on the feet. And then we'll move backwards with the heels up. Very good. The heels up is the part. It's tough, right? Bounce up. Okay, we're going one more time forwards with the knees up. And stationary side straddle. Very good. Heels up forwards. There we go. And stationary bounce up. Good. And then we're going to break right there. Awesome. Okay. Hey, that's How's that? Better. That's right. Yeah. Moving I'm forwards. Better. Very good. Moving forwards and backwards is going to help. Because obviously we're moving forwards when we're running, yes? yes. But we're not often moving backwards, no, we're right? Not. So it's good to train some of your weaknesses to make sure that they're not going to lead to injuries and other sort of ailments as you're running and doing jump rope, jump rope training, yeah? All right, Yana, that was awesome. You did a great job moving forwards and backwards. Do you find that incorporating that in your practice or even your warm-ups would definitely help your running? I believe for sure it will because it diversifies the kind of things that I'm already doing. Perfect. So it really will enhance my athletic output. Absolutely, yeah, exactly. And most importantly, it's gonna help you avoid injury. So guys, if you liked the video, please leave us a comment. Definitely like it and hit that subscribe link for more videos and awesome content coming out on the Healthy Transformation. If you are interested in the 30-day jump rope training program, which we have released on January 1st, 2020, definitely click the link in the description below and it'll take you right over to there so you can get started on your jump rope training and enhance all your athletic performance and make everything, including running, jogging, and sprinting, even that much better. All right, guys, I'm Levi, your man jumping rope with the Healthy Transformation. This is Yona Hamfler, and we are out of here. Woo! All right, let's go. <laughs>